she spent a long weekend in Australia with new Bo Young Blood. But on Tuesday, Halsey, 24, was back stateside where she was snapped out and about in Beverly Hills with the 20-year-old British rocker. The two, who were first linked romantically last month, seemed very at ease in each other's company. Halsey, real name Ashley Nicolette Frangipane, and Young Blood, real name Dominic Harrison, arrived in Australia on Valentine's Day. Over the weekend, they were spotted soaking up the sun as they lounge around on the deck of a yacht in Sydney Harbour. It's the first romance for the Without Me hitmaker since splitting for good from rapper g Easy after an 18-month on, off romance. On Monday, Halsey took to Twitter to tease her fans about some huge news coming down the pipeline. But her tweet resulted in many of her followers jumping to the conclusion she's pregnant. I have the biggest secret, unrelated to the album, and when you guys hear it, some of you are gonna explode. Into actual pieces, Halsey, 24, tweeted. An hour later, after igniting a tweed storm, the singer took to social media a second time. People think my last tweet is me hinting I'm pregnant, which means I'm either, a, gaining weight b, acting weirder than usual, she tweeted. Jokes on new, I'm doing both. However still not pregnant. During the back and forth on Twitter, Halsey also revealed that she'd be in favor of reviving the Twilight movie franchise but only if it was a gay version, according to TeenVogue.com. After mentioning in a response that she missed a time when vampires were cool, another Twitter user replied, Twilight 4 feed Halsey and Kristen Stewart now that I would watch. Halsey red weeded the comment and added, Twilight but make it gay. Last week, Halsey and Young Blood released a music video for their new collaboration 11 Minutes, that features Blink-182's Travis Barker on drums. Young Blood told the NME, the song tells the story of a perfect tragedy that reflects modern love within our society. We are so distracted and focused on what's next, we can fail to see what is actually in front of us. We don't realize how much we need something until it's taken away from us, he explained. 